for these top three, we're being given the graph and asked to write the equation. So it's kind of backwards from what we've been used to doing. So let's write the formula. This is known as the vertex form of a parabola. And our key parts are the H and the K, which is known as our vertex. So looking at this first one, do you see how it's back one, two, three, four, five, and down five? So we're going to plug in that H, X minus a negative five, turns it into an X plus five and then the minus five at the end. So this shows up right here as the opposite sign. And this shows up right here. Now let's go count the stretch. Out one is not up one. So this is not the parent stretch. It's up, what is that, like a third, a half? Out two is up just over one. It's hard to tell. But out three is up three. 3 of the normal 9. 3 of the normal 9 can be reduced to an A value of 1 third. And so really remembering that this out 3, up 3 anchor point, this guy right over here circled in purple, that is a sign of an A value of 1 third. I can't really tell on the out 1 or the out 2, but I can definitely tell on the out 3, up 3. Okay, this next one has a vertex of right 4 up 6. There's my HK. This one's a downwards facing parabola, so it's going to have a negative in the front of the entire equation. X minus 4 squared plus 6. So this shows up here. And this shows up here. Let's go look at the A value. This is not out one down one like the normal parent. It's out one down two. Two times the normal parent. Let's go double check out two would normally be four. But this is down five, six, seven, eight. Yep, definitely down two. All right, last one. This is at negative two, zero for our vertex. It's an upwards facing parabola. So X minus a negative two plus zero. But do we even really need that plus zero at the end? Nope. So this shows up here and the zero shows up as nothing at the end. For my A value, this goes out one. I just noticed these are counting by twos on the Y axis. Do you see that? Two, four, six, eight. So this goes right out one, up two, four, out two, up two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So it's out four, out two is normally up one. This is out two up four. And out two up 16. That's four times the normal stretch. My A value is four. And this is a positive or upwards facing parabola. So it's positive in front. All right. Let's go through these down here. We just learned how to complete the square by taking this B value, dividing it in two and squaring it. So just off to the side, we're taking that middle term, dividing it by two and squaring it. So we take the 10, half of 10 is five, five squared 
you got it. Half of negative 8 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. Half of 7 is 7 halves. 7 halves squared. Sorry, we don't need parentheses. is 49 fourths. Half of 11 is 11 halves. 11 halves squared is 121 fourths. So besides wanting that C value, that number, they also want the factored form. So you can get this number at the back, x plus 5 squared by taking half of 10 or by taking the square root of 25. Half of negative 8 or the square root of 16. Seven halves and 11 halves. All right, now this is having us go backwards. So let's undo the two steps. Instead of squaring it, we're going to square root it. We get 12. But 12 is the number here. So to get that middle term, we have to remember to double it. giving us 24x. Half of 36 is 18. 18, I'm sorry, square root of 36 is 6. And 6 plus 6 is 12. Just notice this negative sign up here. So that has to have the negative sign. Now on this next one, 4x squared and 25, we square root both the front and the back. And so I want you to imagine that you've got a 2x and a plus 5 here and a 2x and a plus 5 here. So this makes the 4x squared that we wanted. This makes the 25. But So what's going to go in these other two boxes is 10x and 10x. So combine that middle term, 5 times 2 is 10, and 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 10 is 20x. So we still double that middle term, but there's a number in the front that's affecting it. All right, pause the video and try this next one, and then let's see. Did you see this is a 6x <coughs> and a 7? And so where does that come from? Picture the 6x and the 7. Picture that this gives you the 36x squared and the 49. But what happens over here is a negative 42x and another negative 42x. So we have to combine that into negative 84x. We've got to double that middle term. Okay, next one is 14 in the middle. So we're back to an easier one. Half of 14 is 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 9. Sorry, square root of 81 is 9. 4 times 9 is 36. Double the 36, that gives you the 72. Ooh, this is an invisible 1 in the middle. This one's kind of weird. Half of 1 is 1 half. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. Okay, and last but not least... 100 over 7. Okay. 
100 over 49. We take the square root of 100 to get 10. We take the square root of 49 to get 7. So this is a 10 sevenths. Let me actually do this one with the box so you can see it. Okay, so the x squared and the 100 over 49 got those, but let's check out this other part. This is going to be 10 sevenths x. This is going to be 10 sevenths x. So what is 10 sevenths plus 10 sevenths? It's 20 sevenths x in the middle there. Down to the bottom section, Grandma is going to make quilts to sell on eBay. She's making quilts with various size blocks. Draw an area model for each situation and express as a product in a sum. So the basic square of x by x extended by 2 inches. And then we write the product, the x plus 2 squared comes from these over here. And then we write the sum. and show all where the different parts come from. Okay, so this up here is the product or the length, and this down here is the area or the sum. Okay, the basic square with side lengths extended by 5. So my product is x plus 5 squared. That comes from these factors on the outside. And then my sum is x squared plus 10x's plus 25. And here's where all those different parts come from. And this is known as the sum, and this is known as the product. Last, the basic square with side lengths decreased by 3 inches. So we take our basic square. and we cut into it 3. So it's an x minus 3. So that's how we show the minuses on here as our product.
So all these in here are negative x's this time. So we've got x squared minus 6x still plus 9. So when they say decreased, they mean to cut into the square. Increased by 2. Okay, so here we go. This time, increased by 2 on one side and increased by 4 on the other. So this is no longer a square. This is a rectangle. So my product is still the two numbers on the outside. And my sum, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then plus 8. We can see the 6x is there. We can see the 8 constant there. And we can see the x squared here. So it doesn't have to be a square with the same lengths on either side. It can be a rectangle.